Hi, I'm Brett Martin from Zanata Consulting, and this is our tutorial on setting up a chart of accounts in Zoho Books taken from our 2022 webinar. If you like this video, be sure to click on the link below and subscribe. Enjoy. All right, so back on the home page, you will find under the accounting section, you have the chart of accounts. And this is really important for organizing your spend and how you do things and how you set them up. So uh, they it, Zoho comes with most of the various charts of accounts you will need. Um, but that doesn't mean you don't have the ability to kind of organize these into a little more detail or maybe put them all under, you know, maybe you want to group them and do various things like that. So oftentimes companies will want to really get, you know, granular, um, you know, you can kind of go through and you're, you're looking at some basic expenses, you'll see accounting and marketing, uh, travel expenses, but maybe you do trade shows. So you want to create a brand new account and you can go in and we'll make that an expense account. You have all the different types of accounts you can put in here. Um, so let's call this, this is going to be an expense. And I'm just going to call this trade shows because maybe you want to keep track of this completely differently than everything else. And I'm going to leave that like that. So now I've got a new account called trade shows. Now I want to get a little more granular. I want to track everything that goes under that trade show. So I can say here, okay, I've got another one and it's going to be an expense. And uh, this is going to be a trade show booths. I'm going to make it a sub account and I'm going to make it a sub account of trade shows. So now I've got trade shows, trade show booths, and I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to save that. And um, then I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to make a yet one more sub account to kind of show you how this all ties together here. Again, it's going to be an expense and um, we'll call it trade show space um, expense. So you're having to rent the space at a trade show and we're going to make that a sub account as well. And we're going to call that trade shows. So now that is under trade shows. We go ahead and save that. And now if you scroll down the page, you will see that you have trade shows in under that you actually have the sub accounts. Really, really nice when uh, looking at your overall roll up and reportings because you can have everything kind of roll up to trade shows and see what the total expense for that was or you can go a little deeper. So if you're wanting to kind of roll up some expenses, then you're gonna to wanna to use these sub accounts or sub sub uh, chart of accounts. It's uh, really helpful with that. You often see that, you know, you've got things like I wanna have automobile expense and I've got travel expense and I've got hotel expenses. Oftentimes people wanna roll those over into just kind of a general travel expense category so they can look at what those are and then look at the breakdown for airfare, hotel and other things um, as well. Maybe meals while they were traveling, you will have travel meals. So depending on how you wanna see your breakdown and depending on how you wanna see your expenses reported, uh, chart of accounts is a, uh, uh, this is where you will go in and you configure it. It's fairly straightforward. Uh, one note, if you see a gear next to it, that means you can uh, mark it as an active or deleted it. If you don't see a gear, this is a hard coded Zoho account and you are unable to change it. So a lot of these top ones at the top, you really don't have the ability. These are kind of locked and loaded in here. Uh, they're fundamental to the way Zoho books operate. So you actually won't be able to change them or hide them. A lot of people do ignore them, uh, but a lot of the base functionality inside of Zoho is going to depend on, uh, on these chart of accounts staying as is. And that is a quick overview of chart of accounts. Hey, thanks so much for watching our video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that subscribe button below so you won't miss any of our videos. Thanks again for stopping by.